Good morning and welcome to our kids gathering online. I hope that last week was a really good week for you guys and that this week is even better. We're going to get right started this morning with our worship songs. So I want to see you up on your feet and ready to praise God.
It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi there, kiddos. It's so good to see y'all today. I've had an awesome week. Earlier this week, I went to my Maymaw's house to see all the things she had in her basement. Oh, don't worry. She told me I couldn't. She said there was a lot of things in there that she would pass down to me one day. As soon as I walked in, I found a dollar on the ground. Turns out it was just a piece of chocolate, though, which was awesome. Then I found a list of New Year's resolutions I made a year ago. New Year's resolutions are things that you want to get better at or complete by the end of the next year. I used to write them and send them to my mama ever since I was a kid. Turns out she kept them all in one box. And old man did I make some great resolutions. Mind if I read them out loud? I'll read them anyway. I put them all on the interweb. <laughs> Number one, gain five pounds. You see, a lot of people want to lose weight, but I figure I should gain some weight. Couple cheeseburgers and bam, <laughs> I was there. Easiest resolution ever. Number two, quit spending so much money. I did great with this goal. Knocked it out of the park. Sure, maybe because I had no money, but hey, <laughs> I did it. New Year's resolution number three, only believe in what you see. Now this is a good one. You see, I heard that phrase a long time ago from someone very old and very wise. Only believe what you can see. But I feel like I haven't done a good job of that. So let's try. But first I gotta think of things that we believe in that we can't see. All right, gravity. What is gravity? It's what makes everything fall? All right, well I refuse to believe in gravity. All right. Electricity. All right, I'm gonna look straight up into the lights to prove I don't believe in electricity. Yeah, that's not a good idea. All right, last one, air. Now people say air is super important, but <laughs> you can't even see it. So you heard it here first. I, Carl, do not believe in air. <gasps> oh. Carl, what's going on, man? Look, man, it's been a long time, man. How you been doing? Carl, Carl, I, I, I said, how are you? How are you doing? Carl, Carl, blink twice if you need help, bro. Blink. Carl, breathe, man. Breathe. <sighs> bro, what in the world are you doing? What is, what is going on? I don't believe in air. What do you mean you don't believe in air? Well, I've made the decision. I'm not believing in anything I can't see. <laughs> oh man. DJ, why are you laughing? I'm sorry, bro. That's just 
the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> you don't believe in air. Uh, uh, I don't believe. <laughs> you, you're crazy, Carl. You're crazy, man. <laughs> What's so funny? Carl, we have to believe in things we don't see. That's just life. Really? Okay. What about the Holy Spirit? What about it? Well, he is something we can't see. And you better believe he's real. Look, open up your Bibles to Acts 8. Should we read it? Let's go! right? Cool. That's incredible. I mean, you have Philip, right? A man who loves Jesus being told by the Holy Spirit to go south on a road. Then he sees another man from Ethiopia who was reading the book of Isaiah. Yep. And then the Spirit told Philip to go meet him. But the thing is, the Ethiopian couldn't understand what he was reading. So Philip helped him and got to explain the good news of Jesus. Then after a while, they passed a body of water and the Ethiopian realized there's no reason that he has to wait to get baptized. He wanted to make the decision to follow Jesus right then and right there. Right, so they walked down to the water and Philip baptized the Ethiopian. Then out of nowhere, Philip was taken by the Holy Spirit to a completely different place. I know, this is incredible. I guess I was wrong. Oh, you mean about the whole believing only what you can see thing? Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize how powerful the Holy Spirit is. Of course. Jesus promised us that he would send the Holy Spirit when he went up to heaven. The Holy Spirit makes us strong and helps us. Help us how? <laughs> With everything. Like when you're upset, the Holy Spirit will comfort you. When we need wisdom, the Holy Spirit will give it to us. And when we need help understanding God better, the Holy Spirit is right there to help. Wow, that's really good news. Because I have a lot of questions about my faith and about God. So the Holy Spirit will help me? Absolutely, Carl. The Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God. Great. <laughs> Wait, that's our big idea. Today's big idea is the Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. The Holy the Spirit Holy helps Spirit us, want to, helps us to want to know yeah. God. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Hey, TJ. I really like that story. Man, me too, man. It's one of my favorites. I can see why. But you know, TJ, I'm still not sure on this whole electricity thing. Really? Why? I don't know. It just seems like kind of suspicious. Whoa, what, what happened? Well, I didn't believe in electricity, so I just stopped paying the electric bill to see what would happen. Turns out it gets really dark. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Hey, kids, y'all have a good week. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Road Here.